gained the lead. Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a new Destiny video, Guiding Light here, and today it's finally time. I've made a new character specifically just for this challenge. Time to use the Kavushkov. Now I've actually never used this thing before in the Crucible at least. Besides using it like when I first made my account back in like day one of Destiny, I had the Kavushkov like everybody did. And like many people, I scrapped mine like the first time that I've ever got a green weapon. I was like, well, I don't need this thing anymore. And I immediately scrapped it just to find out months down the road that it's one of the best guns in the game. And I didn't even have it anymore. So I had to make a new account in order to get it back. We are actually at level 9. This is my first time ever even really using or playing Crucible at all on this character. We're hopping in with all white weapons, all white gear. We're going to run the Kavushkov, see just how good it is. This is literally my first time ever using it in the Crucible. So this should be pretty good. I've seen other people use it before, and this thing is absolutely insane. It just tears through people, and really the only thing that can compete with it is like a last word. So, in all honesty, I can't wait to use this thing in the Crucible. Now, my Gunslinger, nothing on my character is leveled up. My Intellect, my Discipline, my Strength, they're all at zero. This should be a pretty damn fun game. I'm at a bit of a disadvantage, but like I said, I just made this character today, and it's really about time we use this Kavush God. So let's hop into some Freelance, some good old free-for-all. Let's see what this thing can do. Alright, so this thing, if, as long as you're getting headshots, will literally tear through just about any enemy. So slide into this guy, let's go. Well, this thing is already really damn fun to use. I'm going pretty damn hard this game. I do not want to lose. I want to make sure I win as many games on this character as possible. I don't think I've even lost a game yet on this character. This is literally like my first or second time ever even in the Crucible. And I already got stuck by a flux grenade, so that's really awesome. But, uh, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, this thing is fucking amazing. Like, I don't even understand why I have never used it. I really wish that there was a way to get it back. If you've scrapped it, like, you could just, like, I don't know, get it from Xur, or just, like, buy it from the speaker or something. Like, I don't know why you can't ever get it back unless you make a new character, which is kind of annoying. Now, this thing is coming in the Rise of Iron. I'm not sure if you're going to actually need the original Kavushkov or not in order to get the exotic version whenever that comes out. Sometime around September, September 20th, when the Rise of Iron launches, this thing should be available. Now, I'm not really too sure on how you're going to get it or, like, what quests are in order to, to complete or, like, maybe if you have to go back to that original first mission or, like, a new version of it and then just unlock it from there, maybe power it up like we did with some of the other weapons back in the day. I'm not really too sure about any of that, but I really can't wait for the exotic version of this gun to come out. I'm sure a lot of people will be running it or really trying to get it. Or right when the Rise of Iron comes out, I'm sure everyone will be going after this thing. And after using even just this white version of it, I will definitely be trying to get that exotic one as soon as possible. If this thing is already this good and it's only a white weapon, I really can't wait to see how good it is in the Rise of Iron. I'm pretty damn pumped for Rise of Iron. It's only like a month away, actually not even a month away right now. And this guy just stuck me again, dude. Come on. Now this is a new account with a better gamer tag than my old one. I actually made that account when I was like 13 years old back in the day on PS3. And I really never bothered to make a new PSN just because of the fact I had so many trophies and I leveled up on so many games like all the old Call of Duties and I've already got like maxed all of my characters out on another account as well. Now I would like to make this my main account just because it has a way better gamer tag and it's, it's just way more relatable to the channel itself. But unfortunately I don't know if I'm really ever going to do that just because I don't want to have to re-unlock every single gun, all, level up all three characters again, all the subclasses, everything like that. I don't even have any modes of light to level guns up. Like this is literally a fresh character, a fresh account. Like this guy, I don't even have the trophies unlocked as you've probably already seen a couple of them pop up on the screen. It kind of sucks. I wish I could transfer my gamer tag over like on Xbox One whenever that came out you were able to like change your gamer tag I believe. That would have been pretty nice if they let us do that on PSN. There I guess was actually something like in the PlayStation firmware where it wouldn't allow it to happen no matter how long they tried. I don't know if that was just like some excuse Sony made or whether or not that would really happen or not but unfortunately PSN members will not ever be able to change their gamer tags I guess it's because just basically based off of the firmware or just the way that it's designed you're not really ever going to be able to change your PSN is what they said back when PS4 launched, which kind of sucks. You have to make new accounts, but I mean, it's all right, I guess, because you, all you really have to do is just get the PlayStation Plus for a different account, and then you can still play a decent amount of the games without PlayStation Plus, which is pretty cool, but it just kind of sucks because my old gamer tag is quite irrelevant, and honestly, I do wish I could change it. But either way, I don't know, that account's still all right. I've got a shit ton of trophies on it, and I have leveled up to like max prestige on most of the Call of Duties on that account as well, so I don't think I'll ever leave that account behind. Although, I might switch to this count sometime in the future. Just maybe. We'll see one day. I do have a couple focus lights, so I could actually level up my characters somewhat quickly. It just really is going to suck having to re-unlock all the exotics and then have to buy them from Zerg, get strange coins and everything, and just get lucky with the engrams to get a lot of the weapons as well. Although, I would really love to run trials on this account at one point. 
some point or another. Who knows, maybe one day I will just take the time out in a few days just to power up all these characters really fast. But, you know, we'll see. Now back to the Kvushkov. This thing is absolutely insane. Now the fire rate is pretty good. I wish it was a little bit faster, honestly, because if it was, you really would be able to probably beat out just about any weapon with this gun. I'm not really too sure how it how it is at like far ranges. It's, this is a kind of a small map, but for mid to close range, yeah, this thing is absolutely insane. And I really, I don't know, I wish I had used it sooner because this thing is really fun to use, to be honest. It handles a lot like more of like a traditional like first person shooter's gun would. I know a lot of the guns in Destiny are kind of unique to Destiny and you don't really see much guns like that, at least in Call of Duty, because those are really the only other FPSs I've ever really put too much time into. And so that's really all I compare it, can compare it to. If you do want to use the Kavushka before the Rise of Iron comes out, you can just make a new account. And if you want to use it in the Crucible, all you actually have to do is just get to level 5. It takes like an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. Now if you do go that route and want to make a new character just to specifically use the Kavushka, now, I did run into a slight issue. I don't know if this is an issue for anyone else or if you guys, or if I was just really far behind because I hadn't made an account in the Taken King before. But in order to unlock the Crucible, all you actually have to do is get to rank 5, I believe. And then just go to the tower and go down to Lord Shaxx. So he'll be like right down the staircase in the middle. If you talk to him, he will actually give you access to the Crucible. Now, I didn't realize this and I didn't even get access to like level 8 or level, level 9 because I just was waiting for it to pop up. But it never will actually pop up. If you need to unlock the Crucible and you're having trouble figuring out how to do it, by my side anytime, Guardian. All you have to do is go talk to Lord Shax, and he'll give you a sort of like a bounty looking thing, and then that should give you access to the Crucible. I know that took me quite a while to find out, and I thought I had to maybe do some of the more story missions or something to unlock it, but I was completely wrong. All you really have to do is just get rank 5 and then go talk to Lord Shax. Now, I only had really had trouble because this was the first time ever creating a new account in the Taken King. So the process in order to unlock it was a bit different. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this mini challenge. I know it was a little easier than I was expecting because the Kvushkov is quite overpowered, at least when light level advantages are off. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the gameplay. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already for daily Destiny videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.